Hello everyone and welcome back to Screen Trends and in today's brand new video we'll be talking about Hell's Kitchen contestants and where are they at now and this time it's going to be part two. Also don't forget that we'll be giving away a $50 Amazon gift card so make sure to go ahead and subscribe to the channel, like the video and without any further interruptions let's go ahead and get right into it. At number one we have Andrew Benito. Andrew Benito was an office worker from Livingston, New Jersey. During the show, he did not get on well with Gordon, and there were some very heated exchanges at some points. He was eliminated in Hell's Kitchen Season 1, Episode 6, and after Hell's Kitchen, Andrew credited the process for helping him grow professionally. In 2008, he returned to college to complete a Master's in Hospitality, after which he became a manager at the Palm in Manhattan before moving to Bond 45. He moved to the new director roles, and he is currently Director of Strategic Initiatives at an LM Restaurant Group. At number two, we have Bonnie Muirhead. Bonnie Muirhead was a professional chef from Santa Monica, California, and she was Hell's Kitchen season three runner-up, losing to Rock Harper. Her strength as a chef was recognized, but there was a very big lack of communication and errors within her team in the finale. She is inactive on social media sites up to 2014, but anyways, after Hell's Kitchen though, Bonnie moved to New Zealand where she was a sous chef at Crab Farm Winery in Hawke's Bay and also gave cookery demonstrations in 2014. In that same time, she became the head chef at Ormeal 1899, but shortly after she quit from the job and decided to be a school teacher, plus she had a kid as well. And we can't say if she is super successful or not, but she did get a ton of opportunities from Hell's Kitchen to say the least. At number 3 we have Heather West as a sous chef from Port Jefferson, New York. Heather was the Hell's Kitchen Season 2 winner due to her determination and leadership skills, and after Hell's Kitchen, Heather was a senior chef at Terra Rosa at the Red Rock Casino in Nevada. She then moved around restaurants starting as a head chef at Monterey Restaurant, and then moved to Jellyfish Restaurant and later Broadway Grill before moving to Schaffer's in Port Jefferson. She got married in 2014 and now has two children. She is living a very happy life, and that is all that we know. She did make a return to Hell's Kitchen, though, in some episodes as well. At number 4 we have Michael Gabriel. Michael Gabriel was an executive chef from Spring, Texas. He was automatically eliminated in Hell's Kitchen Season 12, Episode 16 after serving raw salmon during service. The most recent update we were able to find out was that after Hell's Kitchen, Michael worked as a private chef and caterer and owns a food truck company and appeared on Cutthroat Kitchen where he won Champion of the Camp. Fortunately, he was the 2018 Taco Takedown Champ but he didn't really get to use his skills he learned from Hell's Kitchen, though. At number five, we have Raj Branston. Raj Branston was a personal chef from Queens, New York. Well, he is said to be one, but he didn't do too well in Hell's Kitchen. Gordon often yelled at him and Raj would panic at times. It is just super tense to see him cook and he might screw things up along the way. He was eliminated in Hell's Kitchen Season 8, Episode 3 due to his poor performances and failure to get along with the team. After Hell's Kitchen, Raj returned his career as a personal chef and that is just very unfortunate. And at number 6 we finally have Sterling Wright. Sterling Wright was a grill chef from Nashville, Tennessee and he was eliminated in Hell's Kitchen Season 13, Episode 12 due to not being ready for the head chef job but was praised as a phenomenal competitor and Gordon offered him a job. After Hell's Kitchen though, Sterling didn't take up Gordon on his offer and he joined the Slider House as a chef before moving to the Palisades Restaurant. He took part in an HK takeover in May of 2018 and Sterling is currently cooking at a cafeteria at St. Jamas Midtown to give back. He has a big heart, and instead of taking the opportunity to be a very successful chef and win his restaurant, he decided to cook for the hospital in an act of kindness. The hospital gave his adopted mom a life-saving heart operation and is treating his sister's cancer. He's probably just the best and kindest person out there who was on the Hell's Kitchen show. Anyways guys, thank you all so much for watching this video, we really do appreciate your viewership and please don't forget to go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, comment something nice down below, and we'll see you all in the next video. Thank you for watching and have a great and fantastic day.